Okay, folks, in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about using graphics in Adobe Premiere Pro, specifically lower third graphics, or you might call them lower third titles. We used to back in the old days call them CGs or Chirons uh, because of the old machines we used to use in TV news. At any rate, what we need here are titles on screen for all the people who are talking in the story. So we've got sound bites popping up, or if you had a reporter popping up on camera in the story, we've got to put a lower third title on the person. So here's the guy in our story. We've got a timeline. It's all put together. Everything's in place, but we just need to add the titles. So one of the last things I would put in before I turn in the story. So here's the guy talking, and I've got a place in the timeline where I want to put the title. I've got my video track 3, V3, the highest ranking track up top, and I'm going to put the title right here. Let me show you the fast way to do this. If you've been following along and I've been showing you these project templates that have built-in bins and these built-in folders, if you're using that system that I use and that I've provided for you in class, then this will be very easy. The fast way is to just open the graphics folder that's already preloaded in that project template. So this is the template. We're doing the story that's been renamed Organic Farmer. It came off the template. And in the graphics folder or bin, we already have these full screen and lower third templates that are built on After Effects and then they're imported into Premiere. So we need to lower third this guy with his name and then we need to put his title, his title in the story, what his job is or what he does. So that's going to be a lower third with two lines. So I'm going to use this lower third template that's the two line template and simply I can just drag this motion graphics template down to the timeline and put it right over the guy's video clip in the story. You might notice that it hangs over a little bit over the next clip, so I can always move my cursor over it and grab that little rolling trim arrow and just tuck it back a little bit, just so it doesn't the title doesn't roll over the next uh, shot. So that puts the title in here, and it's a template, so it tells me that this is the space to type in his name, and this is the place, the bottom line, to put his title. So here's how we do this. This is a lot different than the old ways of doing titles in Premiere, the old legacy system. This new way, I think, is a much, much faster way. So I just click on the graphic, lower third template, and I go up here to my source window, and I'm looking for the window called Effects Controls. Right up there, Effects Controls. You click that, and then you have a little part of the window there for the motion graphics template. That refers to that little template we just laid in. So if I click open the little arrow, the reveal arrow, it tells me that there are two lines of text. The first line of text is put name here. The second one is put title here. This is how simple this is. I just have to go in here and click into the space, type the guy's name, and in this case his name is Robert, if I type it correctly, Robert, and then BD is his nickname that he goes by, so I'll put that in quotes, BD, and Douch is the last name. So I type in his first name and last name, and then in the title, he's an organic, organic farmer. So that's what I put in for the title. And watch this. When I pull back, look what we have on the screen. Robert B.D. Douch, just as I typed it, organic farmer. So this is very different. You just put the graphic template element right there on the timeline. You go up to the effects controls, and you type in the two lines of text. You don't have to choose the font. You don't have to choose the color of the text. You don't have to resize it. Everything's already programmed into the template. You don't have to touch it. You just type in the two lines of text, and you're done with that lower third. So let's look down. There's another person in the story, and it's time for her lower third. And I could do the same thing where I could bring in the lower third template, drag it over. Or, since I've already got BD's title in here, I can click on this previous one that I just edited. Option drag. I'll click it and then I'll hold the option key while I drag it over to this next person. Her name is Sarah. I'll let go. Now, the problem is it still says Robert BD Douch, but that's okay because I'm just going to re-edit this. It's an independent copy. When I do the option drag, it makes an independent copy of this graphic. I click it and I go back to my effects controls. Go back to the effects controls window, source text, and instead of Robert, I type in Sarah's name. And she's a customer at the farmer's market, so we'll just put customer for her. And there we have it. And so when we get down to Sarah in the timeline, there it is. Sarah's name is in the screen, and so is her title for the story. It's that simple. 
a much smoother way to do lower third titles by using the project template. Now, if you're using your own projects with your own bins, you may not have all this stuff preloaded. But if you're working in our system, in our newsroom for Grady News Source, or with the files I've provided for you, you can still track down uh, these templates and do it really fast. Let me show you how that would work. So let's say we'll take these titles out. And let's say I have to do this, but I don't have my graphics bin. Or I open it, and I don't see these templates preloaded. Well, you can find them pretty quickly. Where I'm going is up under Windows. This is a new feature in Premiere called the Essential Graphics Window or Panel. So I want to open the Essential Graphics Window, and it will contain a bunch of different preloaded graphics. And in there, if you're on our newsroom computers, or if you again copy the files I provided, you'll have this news source graphics folder, and I've colored it yellow so it stands out. You open that, and notice it has the lower third with two lines, the lower third with one line, and also a template for full screen graphics we'll show in the next tutorial. But if I just need to do the lower third, the two lines on, on this guy, BD, let me move this out of the way, I just grab the th lower third two line out of that window, drag it down to his slot in the story, and I just put it right there. Let me close that window. And so there it is. So I literally just put that template right where I wanted it. It's the same thing, same kind of template as we looked at just a moment ago. In the effects control panel up here in the source window, I've got source text. We're going to put in his name, Robert BD Douch. And then his occupation again, we're going to put organic farmer. And there it is. So now he's all set in the story. That didn't take too long, did it? So if you already have the templates and you're working off my system, your graphics folder should already have these preloaded. If you don't see them there or using some other method to make project files, just open the essential graphics panel and go back to the main um, window, browse, and find that new source graphics folder. Open it and then you'll see and find these. Once you bring these into the timeline, they will then import into your project. So it puts them in a, it'll put them in a little folder called Motion Graphics Templates Media. So once you drag those down, uh, you'll see them there. So this is how you can do lower thirds. Much smoother system. If you got used to doing it in older versions of Premiere, I think this will be much more efficient for you, especially when you're working on super fast deadlines. Uh, and in a high stress situation. Let's take some of the stress out by making these lower third templates as easy as possible. You simply just have to type in the information now if you use the right graphics.